Hello, we are discussing about gate 2008 EC paper. The magnitude of frequency response of 100 amp per second order system is 5 at 0 radians per second and peaks to 10 by root 3 at 5 root 2 radians per second. Find the transfer function of this system. So, general transfer function of second order system is k times of omega n square divided by s square plus 2 zeta omega n s plus omega n square. So, generally we will neglect this k and we will always say omega n square by s square plus 2 zeta omega n s plus omega n square. At zero frequency that is at dc that is dc means omega is equal to zero that is s is equal to zero. For dc frequency is zero that is f is equal to zero that means omega zero that means s is equal to zero. By the time gain is going to be equal to 1 if k is equal to 1 and gain is equal to k dc gain. So, generally we will neglect that k that means we will always assume dc gain is equal to 1. But whenever dc gain is given you must collect you must consider this k. So, where k is treated as dc gain of second order system dc gain of second order system that is what k into omega n square by this one ok. Now we need three values to write the transfer function one is k the other is omega n omega n the other is zeta value. If we know k zeta omega n then we can write the transfer function. So now look at this one the magnitude of frequency response of 100 amp per second order system is 5 at 0 radians per second. 0 radians per second which is nothing but omega is equal to 0. Omega is equal to 0 means DC value. For DC frequency is 0. So, this is gain of second order system. Magnitude of second order system at omega is equal to 0 is 5. So, this will be treated as that gives K is equal to 5. So, we have calculated one parameter from this one that is K is equal to 5. And next what we need is omega n and zeta that is all ok. Now for that one it has given peaks to 10 by root 3 at 5 root 2 radians per second ok. And the magnitude is going to get a peak of 10 by root 3 at 5 root 2 radians per second. This is one more information given. So for that one we need to know magnitude of frequency response of second order system. This is a magnitude curve of second order system ok. So, this is magnitude curve of second order system and it will get the peak, the magnitude response will be peak at resonant frequency that we can say it as omega r and the magnitude at that frequency is treated as mr, resonant peak, resonant peak mr, resonant frequency omega r ok and this is starting from 1 where we assume that one ok, the dc gain is treated as 1 according to this graph but now we do not consider these values we say that one the DC gain is going to be 5. The DC gain is 5.0 at omega is equal to 0. And now what is given is omega r resonant frequency at 5 root 2. So, omega r is given as 5 root 2 and peak value omega r is given as 10 by root 3. So, omega r we know the equation for omega r. Omega r is equal to omega n square root of 1 minus 2 zeta square. This is for omega r and resonant peak mr is equal to 1 by 2 zeta under root of 1 minus zeta square. This is equal to 10 by root 3. So, calculate zeta value since mr is function of zeta value only you can calculate zeta from this one then use that zeta over here ok to get the resonant peak. Take square root on both sides. So, this 
so it will be equal to 1 by 4 zeta square into 1 minus zeta square is equal to 100 by 3 and after simplification you are going to get it as 400 zeta power 4 minus 400 zeta square minus plus 3 you will get is equal to 0 so and now it will be looks like ax square plus bx plus c algebraic equation you can solve for the roots so that you will get zeta value ok so that zeta value is going to be after going through minus b plus r minus b square minus 4ac by 2a and remember that one you should take only real part because zeta is going to be real one ok zeta cannot be imaginary zeta value is going to be from 0 to infinity any value if zeta is 0 undamped if zeta is 1 critically damped if it is in between 0 and 1 under damped and if zeta greater than 1 it is over damped but zeta never be a complex quantity remember that one so take real part while um, considering this equation on the real part and by that time you may get zeta as 1 by 2 use this zeta as 1 by 2 in this equation to get the value of omega n omega r is given as phi root 2 and omega n we don't know this one and this is 1 minus 2 into 1 by 4 that is nothing but 1 by 2 so this will be equal to omega n into 1 by root 2 so this is phi root 2 omega n is equal to phi root 2 into root 2 so this will be phi into 2 which is 10 radians per second so we calculated omega n value as 10 zeta value as 1 by 2 and k value as 5 so from this equation okay the answer can be written from this one k value is 5 into omega n is 10 10 square is nothing but 100 divided by s square plus 2 zeta zeta is 1 by 2 1 into 1 is 10 so 10 s plus 100 so this will be equal to 500 divided by s square plus 10 s plus 100 so the right answer for this question is a a is the right answer thank you